Hi, I'm Madison Hook. I have Scott Hook here with me today. He's actually my husband. Um, I uh, will be interviewing, well, interviewing with him today to sort of compare um, his diet to the Australian Dietary Guidelines as part of my assessment uh, that I've got to do for you guys. Um, so I'm videoing it today. Scott, you're all good for this to be videoed. Yep, perfect. Yep because we are doing it currently. Um, so firstly, a little bit about myself. Um, I uh, own a gym, a facility. Scott and I both own a, a strength and conditioning facility. Um, I'm a CrossFit coach. I am a mum to two young boys. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about doing this uh, course on nutrition. I feel like it's going to really help me with my clients or our clients. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit about school. I'm going to get a little bit of information about you, Scott. Um, yeah. Can I just get a little bit about your like background information? I mean, I personally know, but I want it for the camera. So a bit about back, about your background. Um, yeah. Yep. So I'm a CrossFit coach or a strength and conditioning coach and I'm the head coach. So I do a lot of the programming. Uh, I also, uh, yeah, deal with managing a lot of athletes as well. But Madison's going to do this so that she can become the nutrition consult consultant for the business and be able to start to give people more performance advice that's outside of the realms of uh, the, the training side. And basically, I've been doing CrossFit and strength and conditioning for nine years, and that's it. Cool. Perfect. Now, I have already sort of got Scott to fill out a bit of a questionnaire, like with all his... Um, you know, his age, his, his weight, his height, which I know that, but I am going to get him to just sort of say that on camera anyway, if I can. So Scott, basically, yeah. So, um, roughly your weight, like, let's just go through that to start with. Yep. No. Um, so yep. Weight. Yep. I'm 93 kilos. Perfect. And, uh, your height. 187 centimeters. Awesome. Um, let's go through, you don't have any medical conditions no or medical anything like conditions. that. Okay. Dietary restrictions. Uh, I'm gluten free. Okay. All right, that's, that's fine. Um, okay, let's go through roughly a typical daily routine for you at the moment, like so with work and uh, yeah, physical activity and that sort of thing. Yep, so just tell me a little bit about that. All right, so I get up in the morning and I drink a big glass of water, like a, mm -hmm. a 750 ml to one litre glass of water. Yep. I then sit and read my book with two and drink two coffees. I'll then have another glass of water after that. Um, before I then have my first meal, which is breakfast, which is tr usually uh, some kind of meat around 100 grams to 120 mm -hmm. grams. Yep, and you two, put that on here, yep, which is good. Yep. Two whole legs, some kind of mixed vegetables that's anywhere between 150 to 200 grams of vegetables, mm -hmm. and two pieces of gluten free toast, whether that's seeded or wholemeal or uh, anything. I don't really overcomplicate that part. Okay. And then I go off and train and I do my first session for the day. So I'll do about a 45 minute to a one hour strength and conditioning session. Then I'll have a protein shake, which is a protein shake that's got 40 grams of protein in it yeah. and 30 grams of carbohydrates. I'll then either come home and eat my next meal or I'll coach a class after that or I'll do admins or, or, or possibly work. And anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours after I work out, I'll eat my next meal, which is usually 150 to 200 grams of cooked meat. Again, dependent, quite a fair bit of beef um, for no other reason other than it's mm -hmm. just easy to have that kind of slower, slower cooked roast meat in the fridge. Uh, 200 grams of vegetables to 250 grams, whether that's salad or mixed vegetables of any kind that's in the fridge. 100 grams of rice and then maybe half an avocado with some kind of a sauce to tie it all together or some kind of mayonnaise dressing tie it all together. I'll then have another snack three, four, maybe sometimes even up to five hours later, um, depending on the time of the day, but roughly anywhere between around two to three o'clock or 1.30 to so, so sort of two o'clock. I'll have 150 grams of cooked meat again of whatever's available, chicken, or yeah, beef mm -hmm. or mint meat. 200 to 250 grams of vegetables, around 20 grams of mixed nuts, or again, another quarter to a half of an avocado. Um, I think I wrote on there, yeah, like it's half, half yeah. an apple, no, half an apple or a full apple or some kind of thing. And then I'll do a second session, whether that's lifting weights or cardio based. So I feel like it's pretty safe to say that you're pretty regimented with your 
food, yes. okay, and training schedule, which is yep. really, really good. Um, and I've seen that firsthand as well, which is amazing. Now, how do you feel currently with your, um, like with your eating habits, the way you eat and how are you, you know, with energy wise, weight loss, like what do you yep, I think, sort of... I think I eat well yep. and, and totally fine yep. um, for what I do. Okay. Um, that's my thoughts. Yep. yep. Perfect. And like energy levels feel good. You feel good. Yep. How about um, alcohol and like drinks, things like that? Like we haven't put that on because I have already got Scott to pre-fill in a food diary um, over a couple of days. Now, like alcohol intake. Not okay. during the week. Definitely yep. no alcohol during the week. Uh, possibly weekends, depending on social gatherings or mm -hmm. uh, what my wife wants to do. Yep. Um, yeah, it depends if we go out. I think we did the Saturday here. Yep. And on the, the Saturday, we had burgers and chips and yep, beers. Perfect. Um, and then had another snack later anyway, be just to sort of after that sort of going out. But okay. I don't ever say no to something um, if it's an event. Yeah. But midweek, I don't do that stuff by myself. Okay, that's great. So what I think now is, like, I feel like you're pretty on track with everything, like each of your meals as such. Um, I feel like we could probably make a few slight adjustments to it. I think maybe, so we've got quite a lot of protein, which is fine. Like given how much you're working out, things like that, your size, whatnot. Um, so I, what I'm thinking is perhaps we could potentially like maybe you've got a lot of red meat here, which probably means that your fat intake is quite high. So why, why don't we look at potentially like maybe switching some of the red meat out for more, say maybe more chicken, chicken breast, um, for like lunches, things like that. I reckon we could have probably add a bit more, like a, a, some more carbohydrates in, okay, to even maybe say, what have we got here? So we've got, we've got rice at lunchtime. You do have some rice, you do have some carbohydrates, but even like maybe a little bit more carbs for breakfast, um, around your training sort of schedule. So maybe some like fast, um, digestive. digestive carbs around your training schedule and then after you've trained as well maybe lunch you know like your sweet potatoes your rices things like that to restore your glycogen and all that sort of thing get those sugar levels back up um i'd also probably like to see a little bit more fruit in here you've got here one one apple okay so with the australian dietary guidelines it does say i think i popped here yeah, so it, it says two pieces of fruit. So for your age group, so I feel like potentially let's we could probably add in maybe like some fruit somewhere around. You've got it in for your snack, so maybe around lunchtime or even after breakfast, even around your post workout. To be honest, um, how do you feel about that? Yep, adding some more fruit. Um, you've also got here. I'm just going to and from a little bit, but you've got here with. There's not a whole lot of you know sort of dairy yogurts milks things like that how do you normally react with 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 that sort of food they're like, fine they're fine okay why don't we incorporate a little bit more maybe some yogurt because we haven't got any really in here at all so maybe some yogurt um with some fruit even in your snack yep um even around your morning i guess you could have probably add that in um yeah Yep. How does cool. that feel? Yeah. Yep. I feel like all you drink, you know, you've, you're doing all the right things. You've got that, you know, very limited alcohol, you know, you're drinking plenty of water. I feel like you've got everything, you know, you've got your fats, proteins, and carbs for most of your meals, which is amazing. But yeah, just a small, we could just probably make a few small adjustments. Um, yeah. Um, let's just have a little look. Stress management, everything. You feel like that? How do you feel like your stress management yep. has been good? It's fine. Yeah um awesome well i feel like let's just have a quick look yeah i feel like that's all we pretty need to do so let's sort of conclude this session let's so yeah we've kind of gone over everything um do you have any questions at all no 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 Okay. Um, all right. So the main thing we want to do here is we just want to stay consistent. Um, let's give it a week or two. Um, I'll check up obviously over the, probably closer, like more in a week, see how you're going with those few adjustments. See if we need to make any, yeah, alter anything else. But other than that, I think we're good. But thank you for doing this small little interview with me. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you.